I will never forget it. They looked me in the eye and they were just like, he will be completely vindicated from this. And I knew they meant it. And I could tell by the tone of their voice that they knew what they were talking about. But, you know, the fact of the matter is this. We talk all the time about Donald Trump being politically persecuted, and he is, okay? The judicial system has been completely weaponized against him, but it's just, it's not new. And I think that that's what we lose sight of here in the state of Texas, because we want to believe that that type of behavior isn't tolerated here in Texas. We wouldn't tolerate a conservative fighter being politically persecuted by his enemies, both on the left and the right, by the way. They've joined forces. That's how much they want to destroy our greatest conservative fighter. Ken Paxton is like, unfortunately, the OG of this. Nobody, nobody realizes this. This man spent a decade of his life defending this, and the prosecution didn't even want to go to trial. It's absurd. And look, I would say, like, I want to celebrate the victory because it is a victory and it is a big deal, but they're not done. The establishment clearly wants him gone. He's too disruptive and he didn't go down with the impeachment. They thought that he would run away and resign. He didn't because he knew that he wasn't guilty. They thought that he would go down with all of these securities fraud charges. He didn't. They thought that they could take him out and they haven't. But here's the thing. The FBI has been watching these cases play out. Remember, these the crybaby whistleblowers who went to the FBI and prompted the whole impeachment sham. Remember, they went crying to the FBI, even though they admitted that they had no evidence.